This video is brought to you guys by BetUS. All your betting needs, parlays, basketball, football, NCAA, the college playoff is on the way. Anything you can think of betting-wise, sports-wise, BetUS has you taken care of. BetUS, BetUS, thank you, BetUS, for sponsoring this video. Now, we got to talk running backs. We got to talk running backs now. When you guys hear me talk throughout this draft cycle, I want to make one thing very, very, very clear. The Dallas Cowboys running back room needs a complete makeover. Rico Dowdle, not good enough. Deuce Vaughn, not good enough. Ezekiel Elliott, Dalvin Cook, maybe in 2018, they were good enough. But right now, that room is not good enough. I'm watching them, and I'm watching Joe Mixon, and I'm watching Rico Dowdle, and I'm looking at Joe Mixon make something out of nothing. I'm looking at Rico Dowdle, run with bad vision, not hit the hole, not make anybody miss. They just are not good enough. And I'll say this about the running back position for the Cowboys and how they need to attack it. They need to go get a free agent, and they still need to draft two running backs. I'm, I'm so serious when I say that. Maybe bringing a guy like James Conner, a player who can come in, ease these young guys in, and you can still draft a running back high and then possibly draft a running back in the fifth round. That's going to be my tune the whole offseason. When it comes to playmakers, offensive playmakers, running back room, receiver room, not good enough. Enter Omarion Hampton, Omarion Hampton. This guy is a big physical, imposing back, North Carolina, that can really bring some attitude to this Dallas Cowboys football team. Six feet, 225 pounds, he runs with authority. It's few and far between that you find running backs, young running backs who want to punish you. And as we talk about this guy, one of his best traits is as he runs the ball, he gets stronger. So let's talk about the strengths. When you talk about Marion Hampton, Great vision, great burst. He's a one-cut back. He reminds me so much of DeMarco Murray. He, he hits it. Once he hits the hole, once he finds a crease, he's through the hole. He gets stronger as the game goes. Now, some of his weaknesses. There were times that I wanted to see him play with a little bit more um, lateral quickness, like more creativity. I want to see him make people miss. Could be a better pass catcher as well. He looks kind of burly when he's running routes, but... When you're talking about a guy who is going to punish you over and over again, when you're talking about a guy that when he sees a crease, sometimes he just runs into a crowd, and there's times that I wanted him to play with better vision. But you can literally physically see defenders falling off of him. And as the game goes on, they don't want to tackle the guy. You watch the FSU game. You watch the Wake Forest game. The guy had over 150 yards in both of those games. He's already at 1,400 yards for the year. He's already averaging five yards a carry. Amari and Hampton is a guy that you put in your backfield with maybe a scat back, maybe a different type of back, and you let those two offset each other. I think Omari and Hampton makes a lot of sense. I have a two grade on him, a second round grade on him, but I wouldn't be surprised if he snuck into the back half of the first round. The guy has, he has really good ability. Like I said, he's already at 1,400 yards. He's actually really fast. He's probably going to run a 4-4. I just don't know his creativity and, and how creative he is as a runner. But Omari and Hampton is a guy that, as I go through this cycle and as you guys get familiar with these running backs, I really want you to keep an eye on Marion Hampton. His film is clean, and I really like the player. You guys tell me what you think. You guys tell me who you want me to break down on this channel. We're going to be getting through a lot of prospects. That's my job. That's my goal. And um, as we go through this season and this draft season, you guys will be prepared if you stick with Foots. It's your boy Foots as always. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Peace. Oh, yeah. Love you guys.